All right, for those of you who are struggling with trying to release your hip flexor and your adductors, like you've got lots of tightness through groins, through the front of your hip, maybe you've got a tendinopathy or old labral tear, old problems in your hip that you've got tightness for, and you're trying to stretch it, you know, you're going to do hip flexor stretches, trying to do groin stretches, maybe you're doing hip flexion stretches, but you're still getting a section which is really tight, and you're trying to release away with a foam roll or trigger point ball, I'm gonna show you how to get the most out of this little buddy by using a foam block. What this is gonna do is elevate this ball so it's way more comfortable for when you're doing it on the ground, but also it just gets us in a better position. I'll show you how. If you're not using this, which most of you may be doing, is like, okay, I'm already using a trigger point ball and I'm getting in there and you're sort of lying there and you, you can't really get to it, okay? And the reason for that is, is you're basically just not high enough. A lot of you may find that this ball almost seems a bit small. Now, if you're doing it obviously in bed, it sinks even lower, so you need a really hard surface. What you need to do is elevate it with a block, okay? Pretty simple stuff. So use it, just a classic yoga block like that. Good thing about yoga block is it's grippy, okay? So this ball will sort of stay in there and you've got a bit of traction. So what that'll do is means you can get onto it a lot easier. So you may find that you might just have to sort of move the block in a position where this leg is out of the way, and you put that on the section of your hip flexor or your rectus femoris, whatever that tissue is that's tight and the tendon or the muscle part of it, sit there, and when you find that spot, obviously you're leaning on the other side, but put this other leg out to the side, okay? So my opposite leg is out here, and then what I can do is sort of shift the weight onto that leg. So I can sort of come off the ball if I need to, if it's too hard, like there's too much load going through those tissues, I can sort of weight bear over here. And the other thing about that is, if I can go over this side, I can get on a bit of an angle with it. So I can go over that muscle, not just directly on it, okay, I can go over and on the inside, which is a lot of the sort of area where you can't get to. I can also, with this, roll forward and back, okay? So you can see how I'm elevated up, which means I can lean down on it, I can just get pressure on it way better. You'll find, as soon as you put that ball up on a block, things change. You go, okay, I can really get to that spot now, I can get into it a bit more, and I can also stay there for longer, I can roll around on it. So it's really good to sort of spend time sitting in those tissues, which is what they need. They need a good sort of couple of minutes of you getting in there and grinding away. Not too hard, they're gonna bruise it. Be careful around sensitive structures, but you can also just sort of move around, and because that ball's sort of stuck on the block where it's sort of grippy, it's not gonna slip off, it's not gonna roll away on you. So you can, I can get, almost get around, and I can turn around this way and get right around the side and almost into my TFL, Okay, and go right into there, and it gets, gets every sort of section. If this is like, say that's your hip flex, or if you're doing a rectus femoris, the ball's sitting there, I can go right around onto this side, go through the middle, I can go on the inside and just really wrap around, I can go forward and back. Okay, so I'm, I'm basically moving in every part of that soft tissue. So these are awesome, all right? So just put this on a block. Now you can also do it for adductors, because the hip flex is you know, reasonably easy for that. It's a really hard tissue to get, it's a very small section to get to. The rectus femoris, a lot easier, because it's sort of straight down the front, but this will get in there a lot better. And because your hips are dive in, that's why you're up in the block. But adductors, all you need to do is just put that block maybe on a bit of an angle like that, okay, and get your adductor this way. So now the leg that you're doing the ball on is out the side here. Now if you imagine, if I didn't have that block, it doesn't work, right? I need this up on something, okay? Because of the angle of your knee, basically you've got this height here, so you need a block there. So I get on here, and then what you can do is hunt around and sit there on that section, which is normally something you're not really gonna to get to. You could use a foam roller, of course, but that's very broad. And I get people doing foam roller work when this stuff is just generally tight and they need to do work on going all the way down the adductor, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But if you wanna go into some sort of section where you've got one spot, maybe it's an old tear, some old scar tissue, or just a section that's really stiff, this is the best way of doing it. And again, you can lift your knee off or down how much, much load you want. Okay, and you can get right to it. You can get right on the edge there and get right up. It's a bit sort of awkward, but you get right up into the, where that groin meets the pelvis. 
and you'll find, okay, now I can get to that adductor, okay? And you can work on the common tendon there, you can work on that adductor tendon, where it attaches to the muscles, you can go back into your adductor magnus at the back there, you can go forward onto your pectineus type muscles, and really get stuck into all those areas that are tight, that you need to release on. The best thing to do, use a yoga block, use a hard trigger point ball. Now remember this ball, not a spiky ball, smooth ball like that, it's a lacrosse type version ball, very hard density rubber, they're fantastic. So those sort of tricks is what I would use for releasing that. If you want a really localized area, pick up two of these and you're set. See you next time.